The Spider and the Fly from Cottage Poems by Patrick Bronta. Read for LibriVox.org by J. L. Baldwin. The sun shines bright, the morning's fair, the gossamers float on the air, the dew gems twinkle in the glare, the spider's loom is closely plied with artful care, even in my room. See how she moves in zigzag line and draws along her silken twine too soft for touch, for sight too fine, nicely cementing, and makes her polished drapery shine, the edge indenting. Her silken wear is gaily spread, and now she weaves herself a bed, where, hiding all but just her head, she watching lies for moths or gnats entangled spread or buzzing flies. You cunning pest, why, forward, dare so near to lay your bloody snare, but you to kingly courts repair with fell design, and spread with kindred courtiers there entangling twine. Ah, silly fly, will you advance? I see you in the sunbeam dance, attracted by the silken glance in that dread loom, or blindly led by fatal chance to meet your doom. Ah, think not, tis the velvet flu of hair or rabbit tempts your view, or silken threads of dazzling hue to ease your wing. The foaming savage couched for you is on the spring. Entangled, freed, and yet again you touch. Tis o'er that plaintive strain, that mournful buzz, that struggle vain, proclaim your doom. Up to the murderous den your tain, your bloody tomb. So thoughtless youths will trifling play with dangers on their giddy way, or madly err an open day through passion's fell, and fall the worn it oft a prey to death and hell. But hark, the fluttering leafy trees proclaim the gently swelling breeze. Whilst through my window by degrees its breathings play, the spider's web all tattered flees like thought away. Thus worldlings lean on broken props and idly weave their cobweb hopes and hang o'er hell by spider's ropes whilst sins enthrall. Affliction blows, their joy elopes, and down they fall. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.